Godzilla X Kong right around the corner. It's only right that we check out a brand new Kaiju, aka Titan Ashima. Now, I wish I could tell you guys that we're doing it in KU, but uh, we're doing it in KU, but low budget. <laughs> I know you guys remember this game, man. We got Godzilla minus one just standing over our city at? here. But this is that game where you can become your own character, walk around, and see a bunch of Godzilla characters. And it's where you can see Kaiju's hit dance moves, as you can see with Mecha Godzilla right there. But uh, look what's behind him, though. We got the brand new Kaiju Titan Ishimu. And that is what we're going to be checking out today. Let's go ahead and reset the character and get straight into things. We got, well, his name is Ice Dragon in here. But you already know who that's supposed to be. And look how ginormous this creature is in this game. I'm not going to lie to you. I expected it to look a lot worse than it does. Now, he does have a little goofy run. I'm not going to lie there. <laughs> the run is kind of goofy. But overall, I mean, this is the first Titan Ishimu we've seen in Roblox. And look at the size, bro. I, I think they got the size right. Like, even just running next to Mechagodzilla here, it looks like Shimu is just absolutely ginormous. What does she look like next to an Evolved Godzilla, though? Maybe we'll do a video of Evolved Godzilla versus Titan Ishimu, but for right now, I mean, yeah, the, the, the size is pretty accurate, I would say. I mean, we've only seen Shimu in trailers and all that, but you know what I'm saying. It's accurate from what we know. Let's go ahead and try some moves. We got the Iceberg Shatter for the number one. Okay, it's just the bite. We've got the Icy Cataclysm. Okay, you know, a Tail Whip. You know, I don't know why they don't just name things like they are. Tail Whip is a Tail Whip. Hey, yo, speaking of Shimu versus... Evolve Godzilla. Is Evolve no, Godzilla no, running? No. Wow, Evolve Godzilla just... What? What is going on over here? What is that guy doing? Okay, um, I, I never noticed this in the game, but we've got a... That, that's like an evil... It says a familiar face award in the bottom right. Who is this man? Speaking of who is this man, what up, Evolve Godzilla? You know what? I, I'm just gonna go this way. You really don't wanna fight me. I really wish you could fight in this game, bro. It would make all of this a lot better. Let's go ahead and try the number three move, Annihilation Impact. That is... Hey, okay, bringing up some crystals from the ground. I like it. I never really know what to expect when playing this game. Sometimes it can be absolute buns, but hey, today, I'm kind of liking it so far. Number four, we got the freezing winds. Let's go ahead and see what that is. Okay, just some sparks on the back. And what else? Is that it? Uh, let me try to press it again. Hold up. Freezing winds. Okay, oh, hold up. Oh, Okay, maybe it just takes that long to do it. The freezing winds is basically like the ice breath or whatever you would want to call it. Or the frozen breath that I guess just continuously happens. Um, it's okay. There we go. It's finally done. What about the number five move, the ice age? That kind of looks cool from the picture. Oh, okay. So if you remember from the trailer, when Shima was hitting the, uh, the ice breath towards the sky and everything was frozen or it was snow and all that, that's kind of, you know, paying homage to that part of the movie. I like how the snow follows you around too. Hey, bro, I cannot wait until KU actually comes back and stuff and is able to make a character like this. Like, Shimu in the normal KU is gonna be insane. Everybody out there, just keep hoping that KU comes back for right now. We got KU on a low budget. What about the first roar? Let's go in here with the first ever Shimu roar sounds like. I don't know how they got this noise, but that sounds ferocious. I wonder if that's actually what Shimu's gonna sound like. Let me see, let me hear it one more time. Ooh. Oh, yeah, bro. I mean, that sounds really good, actually. I really like that uh, little ice breath that's inside of the mouth of Shimu as well. You know, it's kind of just waiting to be spit out like the frozen breath. I like the I like the small details here. And then we've got the T move, which is the final move. That's the, the power display. Let's see what happens there. Oh, Shimu kind of bolts up, stands on her, her back two legs and shows how tall she is. Actually, I kind of want to see how tall she is next to somebody huge. Like Godzilla Earth over here. How tall is Shimu actually next to Godzilla Earth? I'm even a little bit down too. And pretty much the same size, I would think. Hold up, I can actually get next to this Godzilla Earth right here. Watch, I might be the exact same size as a Godzilla Earth. Shimu is literally maybe a, an inch smaller, but no, not, not even. I think Shimu is bigger than Godzilla Earth in this game. Now, is that true in real life? You know, in the anime and in the movie? No, Godzilla Earth is definitely bigger. But for this game, I think it's kind of cool. Let me know what you guys think of Titan Shimu in KU Below Budget. Me personally, I really like what they did with her, bro. And I like that this is pretty much the only game right now that has a Shimu. You know, we tried to do something like Shimu a long time ago, but it was just a tiny blue ice dragon and, you know, it was what it was. But this time, we have the almighty Shimu herself who can literally just stand on some buildings and, you know, get some intimidation factors going on here. Hey, speaking of intimidation factor, just the size of Shimu is insane. 
Like, if we go over here to Evolve Godzilla right here and just do the power display, look how much bigger Shimu is than Godzilla. This fight on May, tw or May 29th, March 29th is going to be absolutely insane. Let me know in the comments how excited you guys are for the brand new Godzilla X Kong movie. I'm going to be in there as soon as it comes out, just like this. I'm going to be beefed up like Shimu. By the way, there was another kaiju that I just saw over here. I think it was the Beast Glove version of Kong. I don't know. I didn't even know they put that in here. I kind of wanted to see the size comparison of Kong and Shimu. Let me go ahead and reset and get him, actually. Oh, by the way, that's what we ran into. It says Demon Remodel added Demon in Skull Island Tunnels. So that explains what that thing was. Oh, here we go. By the way, we got Beast Glove Kong with the axe. I don't know why his hand is kind of shining like that. Maybe it's the effects of, like, the lightning. Okay, what is Mechagodzilla dancing with me for? I just wanted to compare the size real quick before we go back to Shimu. Let me run. Oh my goodness, bro. Look at Shimu compared to Kong. If this is how it is in the movie, dude, I don't know about Godzilla and Kong's chances. Let me know in the comments who you guys think is going to win. Do you have Shimu and Scar King? Why is Kong riding Shimu right now? This would be sick. Like I said, though, do you have Scar King and Shimu or do you have Evolved Godzilla and my boy Kong right here? I don't know, bro. Shimu looks like a savage. The only thing I kind of wish they would have done to Shimu, I know they tried to make it serious. You know, all these moves are pretty cool. You know, like the freezing winds, the atomic breath, all that stuff. Or the ice breath, whatever you want to call it. But at the same time, you know, this is kind of a meme game. It's KU on a low budget. So I really wish they would have, like, you know, made him dance or something like that. Made Shimu hit a dance move or anything like that. Yeah, exactly, Mecha G. Like, imagine if Shimu could stand up like this and hit the moves that Mecha Godzilla does. That would be hilarious. You know, but at the same time, I, I kind of like the way they made her, bro. The only thing I'm not... Well, now that I'm looking at the run, it's not actually terrible. You know, if I saw Shimu running like this, it's just a big character, and I think it would work. By the way, look at Shimu next to... Next to Thermo Godzilla. Everybody over here just looks like a minion compared to this, this lady. Shimu is just a ginormous. A hitting that ice age towards... Uh, by the way, hold up. Look how many Shimus are in this game. Could you imagine just a big group of Shimus like this? Not only one, but a family of Shimus. We got the Shimu family over here. All five of us just grouped up, you know, having a great time. This would be absolutely terrifying. And you know what? One is terrifying enough, but all five of them... Yeah, we'd be in some trouble, bro. Forget an Ice Age, the world would just be frozen. Even though that's kind of what an Ice Age is. Y you know what I'm saying, though? You don't want to run into a family of these big things right here. By the way, I don't know why Kong is running around like this. Like, look at Kong. What is my boy doing T-posing next to Shimu? Kong's over here running like, look, I come in peace. Please do not hit me with your entire family. Bro, look at Shimu running from a distance, dude. That is terrifying. Yo, in this new movie, I I'm guaranteeing you guys, it's going to be one of the greatest monster battles we've ever seen in, you know, a Godzilla movie. And from what I think, you know, Evolve Godzilla from what we've seen in the trailers versus Shimu, I think it's going to be absolutely insane. I wonder if I can get on another Shimu. I can get on another Shimu's back. All right. Shimu on Shimu crime. Look how tall we get if we just stack on top of each other. If we could all just be friends, we could make it all the way up to... Oh, wait a minute. Let me hit the Ice Age while she's hitting the Ice Age. And now it's just snowing all over the place, bro. Let me know what you guys think of the brand new Titan Shimu in this game. By the way, we haven't checked out all of KU Low Budget. We got this place over here. It's the Apex headquarters next to the city. And then if we go, I like that fact that they added Apex. I think KU, that'd be a little, a good little touch for the actual KU game. We've got Mothra's eggs still chilling in the little cave over here. You know, that's a good touch for the low budget version. And then we have Antarctica over here, which is really where we should be going right now. You know, Shimu, she's getting kind of hot at the moment. We gotta go, we gotta go get frozen real quick. Hey, yo, time out a minute. Why is there two versions of Kong? It's the same version. What are y'all doing in Antarctica? Look at the size comparison, bro. It, it would take like five Kongs to be able to stack up. To, well, okay, maybe it would take three, but you know what I'm saying. Kong versus Shimu, I really hope we don't see... Well, we kind of did see that. If you remember from the trailer, when Kong was in Scar King's cave and, and Shimu was hitting the ice breath towards Kong, Kong really couldn't do much but attempt to block it. So I, I don't think that fight would go very well for him. Then, of course, over here, we've got the Volcano Island. Oh, can I make it up here? Oh, my goodness, bro. Shimu on a volcano hitting the Ice Age. I mean, how, how more terrifying can you get? Shimu is the ultimate savage. Personally, like I said, I think Shimu is going to be like 
one of the most dangerous creatures that Godzilla's ever had to fight. I mean, you've never seen Godzilla have to evolve to fight somebody. Other than, you know, Ghidorah when he went thermo. But other than Ghidorah, you know, we've never seen him have to get this strong to try to fight somebody. Usually, he just dominates. Oh, hold up. I didn't know they added a little size comparison chart over here. Kaiju Universe has this as well, but you kind of, you can't really tell the size on this one. Yeah, there's no numbers or anything. Hey, yo, Mecha G, get out of here. Pack it up, man. I mean, I can't tell you that Mecha Godzilla is nowhere near the size. Look at this. Standing straight up, Mecha Godzilla just goes into my chest. So it's definitely a massive kaiju. We, we already knew that, though. I wish there was like a, you know, a size comparison in feet so we can see exactly how tall it is, at least in this game. We're not really going to know how tall, I guess, until the move. Is that a duck? What are you doing in here, buddy? Oh, the duck just turned into... <laughs> the duck turned into Beast Glove Kong over here. All right, hey, I guess that's what's gonna happen in the movie, huh? We also have a chase scene happening with Mecha Godzilla and Shimu. Why is Shimu running away from... <laughs> Mecha G hitting another dance move, by the way. That is so funny that they put that in here. My boy hitting the Gangnam style over here. Mecha G hitting the smoothest dance move. But he can't get taller. You know, you can hit smooth dance moves, but I, I, I'm a little bit taller, at least. Maybe next time we do, like, a Evolved Godzilla versus... Ty okay, well, there goes Evolved. Like I was saying, maybe next video or something like that, we'll do Evolved Godzilla versus Titan Ishimu. L let me know what you guys think. Maybe we do that. We could also add the Beast Glove version of Kong in here. Why not? You know, I don't want him to feel left out. So y'all let me know in the comments what you all would want to see. But for right now, I mean, that's pretty much all we can see with Titan Ishimu. If you guys want to run through the moves one more time again, we can real quick, you know, bringing up the crystals. We got the number four move, which I think takes a very long time. Like if I don't press it again, does it actually work or do I have to press the number four move again? Let's see, it should. Okay, there finally, the ice breath comes out and we could freeze my boy Thermo Godzilla right here, but you can't do anything with the moves in this game, unfortunately. You've got the Ice Age move. You've got the first roar that you could do right off of the Ice Age. That's kind of sick. Into the power display and just show... Wait a minute. You could roar and do the power display at the same time. That's beautiful. And we did figure out today that, well, Shimu is pretty much the same size as Godzilla Earth somehow. You know, if we stand up right here, look at the size comparison. I am the same size as Godzilla Earth. That's not really, you know, like I said, that's not the case. Uh, you know, Godzilla Earth is definitely much bigger in the actual anime. But in the game, Shimu is the same size as Godzilla Earth, who is very tall. I don't know exactly how tall, but I just know he is very tall. And I think that's where we're going to end it, guys. We got we got a Mecha Godzilla hitting some dance moves next to me. Hit it one more time for the video, please. Hello? You're just going to let me roar next to you? Okay, there he goes. He did hit the dance move to finish off the video. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end here. Let me know what you thought of the brand new Shimu, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I love y'all. Goodbye. I got a new fashion. This is a new day. Look at your boot cap. Riding a new wave. Don't get my nerves. Let us say